Well, Ian, first of all, your reaction to the defeat and the performance? Yeah, disappointed. Um, we knew today was a must-win game and that wasn't. That hasn't changed how I felt. It was a must-win game today. And from the start of the game to the end of the game, it wasn't acceptable today. Reliant on your goalkeeper throughout, I thought Luke McGee was excellent. I mean, you know, I think the possession was about 50-50, but they made more of it. Yeah, they did. They looked more potent in the final third. And Luke McGee done ever so well to keep us in the game at times. And uh, like I say, on a whole, unacceptable. Conceded very early and on a, on a hot day as well, given the conditions as well. That was the last thing that you wanted to happen. And you gave the ball away, really, and they, they were straight through you. Yeah, it was a disappointing start to the game. Uh, I'll say start of the game, I thought the first few minutes we were, we were OK. But then the goal to give away, then the manner that we give it away, is then always an uphill battle and we never um, we never got to get to grips with the game at all today. Half chances here and there, I think you know, Sam Taylor had a volley just wide at the end of the first half. Charlie Jolly had an opportunity, didn't he, to equalise in the second half as well, but they were very much few and far between. Yeah, completely agree with you, yeah. Um, we didn't create enough chances today, we didn't pass the ball well enough and ultimately lost the game and can't complain about the results. As you said at the start of this interview and pre-match as well, you know this was a must-win game. What exactly does that mean for, for your position and, and the way the club are going at the moment? I'm not naive enough to um, to not know that. Of course, it's always going to be a question I'm going to get asked when you're losing games of football. It doesn't matter what level you're at, you lose games of football, you get asked them questions and you get reaction from the fans at the end and, and they're completely just in their, in their views and their opinions. They've got the right to vent and they're as frustrated as, as I am with the results. So I completely understand where they're at at the moment. But again, I still believe it will turn around. And as far as you're concerned, you know, it's get back in the training on Monday morning and prepare for the next game. That, that's your focus at the moment? Always has been, always will be, until I hear any different report on Monday and plan and prepare. And I think before the game as well, you were talking about you know, belief, weren't you? And, and, and belief is about faith and, and faith in the way that things are going, what you're doing, how the players react to that. Has your faith been damaged at all by today? No, I've got to always believe. I keep believing and um, I'll never stop. I'll never stop and um, I just keep going, keep moving forward. And like I say, all I'll do is now is, is, unless I hear otherwise, plan and prepare for Monday and get ready for Saturday's game. You tried a different formation today. You know, you played with the wing backs uh, with, with Dan Pike on the right and, and Kieran Morris on the left. How did you feel that worked for you? The reason we changed that shape, we haven't had full backs. We, we, we signed Connor Wood yesterday, which will be a good signing for the club, but he needs to get up to speed. He's been behind on training, so we haven't had two full backs so we've had to try and play players out of position because we've got no direct replacements so today we did have a back three so we, we've worked on it for a couple of days about playing a back three and there's always always going to be tiered and problems but ultimately we felt in a back four we haven't got the personnel for that so we felt it'll help the players the demands of the game and the way you played a little bit more space for them in the middle of the park and, and they took advantage of that and then got down the flanks yeah like like we touched on before ultimately they were better than us today and um they created more opportunities and won the game. When you're talking to the lads in the dressing room now, I mean, you know, obviously they'd be disappointed. What, what sort of things can you say to them immediately after a game like that when you you know how important those three points were? It's tough. Your reaction after game is tough because you're uh, you're emotional. I'm, I'm angry. I'm, I'm feeling a load of different emotions, um, not just for myself, for the players, for the, for the fans. So I've got to be careful what I say to the players and manage that and um, calm down and be composed. Like I say, should I be there Monday? And as you say, Monday's going to be an important day for how they are. And obviously, you say you know, you're there Monday morning until somebody tells you differently. Of course, that's always how I've been and always how I will be.